understanding to be someone's type. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our channel where we make learning English fun and easy. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase that often pops up in conversations about relationships and personal preferences to be someone's type. Whether you've heard it in movies, read it in books, or stumbled upon it in everyday conversations. This video will help you grasp its meaning, use it correctly, and understand the nuances behind it. So, let's get started. To be someone's type refers to the idea that a person possesses the particular qualities, characteristics, or appearance that another person usually finds attractive or desirable. It's important to note that these preferences can be about physical appearance, personality traits, or even specific behaviors. When someone says, you're not my type, it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. It simply means that you might not align with what they typically find attractive. To better understand how to use to be someone's type, let's look at some examples. In a conversation, I think Mark is really nice, but he's just not my type. Describing preferences, I've always known that someone adventurous and outgoing is my type. In a reflective mood, over the years, I've realized that my type has evolved. It's less about looks now and more about personality. These examples show how the phrase can be used to express personal preferences in different contexts. It's crucial to recognize the nuances of this phrase. To be someone's type is highly subjective and can vary greatly from person to person. It's shaped by individual experiences, cultural backgrounds, and personal growth. Understanding and respecting these differences is key to navigating conversations about preferences and attractions without inadvertently offending someone or making assumptions about their tastes. Now that you understand what it means and the nuances behind it, incorporating to be someone's type into your conversations can help you articulate your preferences or understand others in a respectful and clear way. Remember, it's a phrase that conveys personal preference, and using it thoughtfully can add depth to your discussions about relationships and attractions. And that's a wrap on to be someone's type. We hope this video has shed light on this interesting phrase and equipped you with the knowledge to use it confidently in your English conversations. Remember, language learning is a journey, and understanding phrases like these helps you navigate it more smoothly. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.